Hi guys, and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M, and today I am holding the uh, foil quill from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm really excited to open this and show you how this works. So I will be doing an unboxing and showing you how this works in my Cricut Explore machine. But don't worry, I will be doing one for the Silhouette machine in the next few days, so make sure you check the description box below as I will have a link there. But better yet, you can definitely click the subscribe button as well as the little bell icon down there so you can be notified when I upload new content. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and open this now. So I did purchase this off of Amazon and I will have links in the description box below of where I purchased it. So let us see. So it comes with the three different foil, I guess they're called pins or quills. So I know there's a fine, a medium, and a thicker one. Let's get this tape off. And I've been hemming and hawing on whether or not I should get this. And I, you know, I gave in. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got the packaging here and it shows you on the back some examples of uh, what this does. I'm trying to make sure there's no glare, but you guys are getting glare. There we go. So it comes with three USB heat pens, a standard tip, a fine tip and a bold tip. It comes with four cutting machine adapters, three heat activated foils, which are six inches long. Um, every, some re, it says placement tape, heat resistant plate, and a multilingual instruction book. So let us see. So here are our foils. We got gold, silver, and a rose gold. And we have our adapters. So we got an A and a B, and I'll have to read the instruction book to know which one goes into which. We have our tape. On the back, taped to the back, we have the plate as well as a C and D. And I guess that's it. And our instruction book. All right. So these are really cool. And you can kind of tell by looking at them which is which. So we got fine, maybe not. This one's fine. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's fine. This one's definitely bold. So the blue is bold and then the teal Looks like it might be the medium. All right, they each have their USB cord and our instruction book. It's not very big, so it should be good. So it's telling me A goes to Silhouette, B goes to Brother, C goes to Cricut, and D goes to the Sizzix, which is great. Um, number two, pop that into your machine. Number three, plug it into a source. Four, pretty much just picture graphics. Five, your heat shield, which goes under there, and six, you are done. So let's see. All right, I'm going to go through and read the instructions, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the machine and we'll set it up together. I have seen other videos where people go ahead and talk about warranty, Usually on your machines, you get a one-year warranty, and I am way past my one-year warranty, but if you are concerned any time about a warranty on your machine or any other warranty for any other thing that you own, always check with the manufacturer on your warranty. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make a card. All right, so according to the directions, I need to use adapter C. 
So I am using the teal foil quill and it looks like that just screws right in just like that. Perfect. And it says to make sure you use the whichever slot your pen would go in. In this case, it would be my A. So we'll pop that out. That came out pretty easy. We'll pop this in. It fits in there snugly. Close that up. And now I'm just using a mobile charger. I don't even know if this will work. We will plug that in and test it out. And that will go, oh, I got power, so which is good. And I'm gonna drop that right in the little, you guys can't see it, but I'm gonna drop it in the little tray right here. And it says to put this little guy underneath while it's heating up. So we will go do that. Now I'm gonna push this back a little bit while that is getting heated. And now I have my mat and I'm gonna use the gold. And as I'm doing this, things that are going through my mind are, how do I know where to place this? Well, I went to my design and my design says, or I saw where I wanted it on my design and it's a little bit before the five inch mark and a little bit after the eight inch mark. So that is what I am going to do. And I'll show you that in the, um, in the software when we get to the software in just a second. So, I'm going to cut this down to size. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. And I know that my card is no longer than five inches, so I'm just going to make a real big rough estimate. I'm probably wasting a lot of foil here, but I'd rather go use more foil on my first one so that I can get an idea of how this guy works. So we'll go ahead and finish that, tape that there. And now it says to go ahead and tape the foil down and it doesn't really say, but I'm assuming that the, uh, the shiny side goes up. Let's see if we could find our end here. And I'm just going to tape that here. Grab another piece of tape. And this is reusable, so you can definitely reuse it. So I'm going to put that down here. And I think I'm going to secure the sides just because it's my first time and I really am not sure how this is going to work. So we'll secure that. And it says taut, so. Let's kind of make it a little taut, the best I can. All right. So that looks like that's going to cover my area that I need to foil. So now I'm going to jump over at the computer and show you my design and then send it through and see what we get. All right. So I have my design in Design Space and I just created a really basic card. I'm not even going to show you the card being cut out because that is not the focus of this project. It is the quilling. Um, I, I created this in an outside program, Illustrator, and I used my mandala. Now this is a file that I sell just by itself. It does not have the words and that is available in my Etsy shop. So I will link to that. And then I just added some simple text on the top and bottom and arced them ever so slightly and then I imported this file into Design Space. Now we do have to set it up slightly and if you go to the right hand side here you will see that by default everything uploads as a cut. Well I want the words and the design to draw. So I'm going to go over to the left here and change that to draw. You'll see they will change to outline which is fine. Now the last thing that I need to do is attach. So if I click on the very top where it says group, you'll notice that everything gets highlighted. And then my attach button down here is also available and I'm gonna attach. If I don't do that, it would send all the elements to separate mats, which we do not want. And now I just need to click make it. 
Now you could see over here on the left, it does show draw and cut. And then what I was telling you about when I was lining up my foil is I, I previewed this and I kind of checked to see approximately where the design would land so that I could make sure that my foil covered that design. All right, so now that all I have to do is click continue and I'll meet you back at the machine and show you the uh, quilt process. All right, so I am over here at the machine. Let me bring it a little bit forward for you. I'm gonna remove the little metal thing there. I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat. I have my dial set at cardstock plus because that's usually what I use when I use basil. And I'm going to load the mat. And I'm gonna hit the Cricut cut button. All right, so, oh my goodness. So that took about 10 minutes to cut, but look at the way that this cut. Oh my goodness. That is, or not cut, but the quilled, I guess, or the foiled. This is beautiful. For my first one, I probably shouldn't have done something so intricate that took so long because it was agonizing for me to, uh, to wait to see what it was gonna look like, but oh my goodness, talk about shiny. This is gorgeous and I really love the way that this came out. So super quick, super easy, and I love, love, love this. And I can't wait to try some more designs in this because I think this came out awesome. I really wasn't sure what to expect um, because you know, you see these new gadgets that come out and everybody buys them and then they don't work and then you've wasted money. But this really, really came out gorgeous. And there's a lot of intricate detail in this design. And look at that, just gorgeous. So I give this two thumbs up for the foil quill system. Uh, don't forget, I am going to do a tutorial using the silhouette. So make sure that you are a subscriber as well as clicking that bell icon so that you're notified when I upload the new video. But I'm loving this. Super easy, super wow factor. All right, just a reminder, if you want the mandala, I do have that available in my SV, uh, Etsy shop. So go ahead and check that out. And wow. All right, guys, until next time, bye.